What's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. I don't need to say it. I don't need to mention it. You should already know who I am. And if you don't, you've been living under a rock. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another video. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's go ahead and talk about how big angelfish can get. Now, if you've never owned an angelfish, or maybe you don't even have an aquarium yet, but you're wanting to get a fish tank, you're wanting to get an angelfish, but you're not too sure what size tank you want to get for an angelfish. Now, generally for two angelfish, a 29 gallon tank would suffice, or suffice, however you say that word, however you pronounce it. Um, I've kept angelfish pairs in 29 gallon tanks and it was m just the right amount of space for them to do what they need to do for them to lay their eggs for them to swim around comfortably and for them to live a very happy and good good life they had a very good quality of life in a 29 gallon tank I've seen some people keep a angelfish in a 20 gallon tank tall and I don't recommend that but I've seen people do it and the fish is okay the angelfish also size and growth on an angelfish really depends on their genetics, um, how well you take care of them, such as how well you feed them and how well you change out their water and how often you change out their water. Because feeding and changing your angelfish's water is going to contribute a whole lot in promoting healthy growth and consistent growth um, within your angelfish. Now, your angelfish will still get decent size if you're not 100% with changing out your water like you're supposed to. I mean, they're still going to grow, but not changing out your water on your angelfish tank is also going to risk them being stunted. Now, what stunted means exactly is that an angelfish is supposed to be well-rounded with nice and long fins that's the perfect angelfish now a stunted angelfish is not going to be well rounded at all the angelfish is going to be longer than it is height wise and it's not going to look even and it's not going to look nice and they kind of have like a trapezoid or square shape to them a uh, square trapezoid body shape to them and it's very unappealing on an angelfish so long fins rounded bodies is what you want to look for in, a, in an angelfish um, but like I said you know changing out the water and feeding is going to make sure that your angelfish is um, growing um, at the best rate and so angelfish can get up to like six to ten inches if you really take care of them um, but other than that, they still get a good size, but they're, they don't get freakishly huge, although it does vary from angelfish to angelfish. Anyways, hopefully this helps. Um, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Take care and bye.